From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News, where it's not the ups and downs that bother me, it's the jerks. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook Could It Be True? Volume 1 Urban Legends by Cindy Parmeter. Hear a free sample and support what I do by buying the audiobook for yourself on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. At least four major law firms have reportedly backed away from talks with the White House to help defend President Trump in the escalating federal Russia probe. Why? Well, they're said to be worried that our headstrong commander-in-chief won't listen to their counsel. One lawyer familiar with the talks tells Yahoo News the concerns were, quote, the guy won't pay attention and he won't listen, unquote. So now Trump is talking to that annoying ambulance-chasing lawyer dude who advertises during Dr. Phil. George Clooney is a new father. He and his wife Amal this week welcomed their twins, a boy and a girl, Ella and Alexander, into the world. You know, I'm wondering, though, if this might be a fake news story, because I have, I have a hard time believing that a Hollywood couple would name their babies something normal, like Ella and Alexander. An NSA contractor named Reality Winner – yes, that's her real name, Reality Winner – has been charged with leaking classified government documents. Surprisingly, her alleged accomplice, document leaker, has not been charged. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he is not a fan of President Trump's tweets, which I'm sure will be the subject of the Donald's next tweet. Uber has hired a Harvard expert to help with their leadership problems. Now That'll hopefully give them a lift. The mayor of London is calling for the UK to cancel their scheduled visit for President Trump. Trump plans on smoothing things over, though, by giving the mayor a can of Pepsi. Police in Vail, Colorado are warning homeowners to bear-proof their homes after one bear was caught on a security video playing the piano inside an apartment last week. No kidding! The tenant phoned police to report a burglary after returning to what looked like a ransacked apartment. A responding officer determined the culprit was likely a black bear that entered through an open kitchen window looking for food. But it wasn't until the resident checked her security camera and found a honey of a video showing not only was there indeed a bear, but he seemed to be very interested in the apartment piano, and he pawed the keyboard. Play us a song, you're the piano bear! Play us a song tonight! Seattle is the latest city to impose a sugary sales tax on soft drinks. Diet drinks are not taxed extra. Man, Seattle's already full of depression and suicidal thoughts. You're going to tax one of the only legal vices that help people cheer up? Yeah, great plan. In Utah last Sunday, an 8-year-old Nebraska girl and her entire soccer team were disqualified from a tournament because organizers thought she was a he which is stupid because, as we all know, real boys don't play soccer. A Florida mom has given birth to a big baby boy, 13 pounds 5 ounces. When the doctor slapped him, he slapped back and forced the doctor to give him his lunch money. A Birmingham police sergeant bit into an Arby's sandwich and found a 1-inch bolt inside. But then he chewed it up and spit out bullets. Hey, that's what happens in the cartoons. Emptying trash cans and dumpsters in Bogota, Colombia's Jose Alberto Gutierrez one day found a copy of the classic novel Anna Karenina and kept it. Well, that was 20 years ago, and the garbage man has continued to collect Bogota's discarded books, amassing thousands that he has used to create a free library. Thanks to additional book donations, Gutierrez's library has swelled to 25,000 books. Now he needs somebody to throw out a building so he has somewhere to put them all. A new report says it is cheaper to send a kid to Harvard than it is to send him to a California prison. And it looks a lot better on his resume. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Guests on today's show will receive the exciting new self-help book entitled How to Control Embarrassing Foot Odor by Stomping Grapefruits. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!